Welcome back to Frank Motion. In today's video, we are going to create a chain inside of After Effects just by using some stroke layers. Not only creating that, I will go through how you can give the stroke a chain effect from the layer style. Also there are different ways of using this. The technique is really simple but it will be really informative for you. So make sure you stick to the end of the video and without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's get a composition first. Let's call it chain. Time can be anything and dimension can be anything as well. Hit OK. Alright. First of all, take the paint tool and let's create a line. Just normal line. Just make sure it more than your composition. You can use it any way you want actually. Let's change the name of the layer. Let's call it chain. One. Okay. Now open the chain one layer, go to content, open shape one. Go to stroke one and change the stroke value to let's change it to 40 also change the line cap to round cap now add dashes on it and change the dashes value something about 130 maybe let's go for 130 all right yep the first part is done now let's copy the chain layer by pressing ctrl d let's place it at the bottom and open the chain layer once go to content shape one and stroke one and change the stroke with value to 120 also you can change the color for here just for the viewing purpose we can change the color anytime close the layer for now as well now make a duplicate of the chain two layer as well let's call it chain two mat like this Open up the chain to mat layer, go to content, go to save one, stroke one and change the stroke width to 40 again. Let's change its color to something like deep red. Let's hide the chain one layer for now. So you can see the chain two layer properties only. Now we need the outer portion only. For doing that, let's change the track mat of the chain two layer to alpha inverted map. Let's do chain two mat and you can switch it to inverted map as well now let's turn on the visibility of the chain 1 layer and for the chain 2 layer let's change the color to a normal gray color like this and here i'm going to show you a trick by doing this you can speed up your work actually and for doing that open the both layer chain 2 mat layer and chain 2 layer as well and open the dash property of this layer and also for this layer also now I want this layer property to be our controller layer. For doing that, link this dash property with this dash property here. Do the same for the offset property as well. Now if you change the dash value from here, you can see it's also applying on the mat layer as well. Now here we need to offset the line just a little bit. So we can get the feel of the chain effect. One gap and one stroke like this. So our main chain part is done and one more thing we can we need to do here if you want to move the path simultaneously for all the three layers and for doing that just open up all the layers go to save one and go to path one let's close that row and open the path one for the every property every layer and do the same just like we did for dash and gap properties. So this will be our controller layer, I mean this path one will be our controller layer. So let's link this other two layer path with the with the chain one path layer, just like this. Now once you did, you can you cannot see any changes here, but if you if you take the paint tool and move these pointers, you can see it will affecting all the three layers, like so. See. Let's close all the contents for the every layer. Let's select one layer, go to add and add trim paths here. Do the same for other two layers as well. And we'll do the same technique here as well. So this will be our controller layer. Open the trim path one, open the trim path one for this and this layer as well. And just link this, this start property with the start properties of the chain one layer end property with the end property of the chain one layer sorry it will chain end property of the end layer 
and offset will be with the offset do the same for this layer as well now close all the three layers and we know we don't need these two layers for now now we can animate all the layers just by using just by changing these values only see this is all for the chain property so the base of our chain is ready now we just need to stylize it and for doing that select the layer go to layer and layer style you can add bevel embus good open up the bevel embus and increase the size a little bit and also the soften a little bit i am leaving the stylizing up to you so you guys can experiment with this apply the same hair vessel close all the properties open web and embus increase the size and the softness a little bit so you are definitely getting the feel of the chain now it is now it's up to you how you going to use this in your in your own project so i am leaving that up to you this is what i want to show you can you can even just animate it just by using the offset value just like this maybe you can just change the end value just like this and you can do the reveal animation like this it's all up to you how you going to use that so this is all for today i hope you like the video thank you for watching guys see you guys in the next time till then have fun and stay safe